Here are a couple locations where I put some reishi blocks. Uh, this is one of my greenhouses. I just set them under this uh, water tank for shade, gets lots of water. Um, kind of a mix. You do have some growth there, but it's not really exceptional. Uh, another greenhouse I have where I have some mushroom beds uh, mixed with these pots of various plants that are just, just recently planted. Uh, I have two blocks in here. Um, these blocks, they just haven't grown much. Uh, all the blocks, when I put them in the various locations, had about the same growth. Blocks were made out of oak wood, and it had uh, you know, taken a month or two to, to, for the mycelia to grow. But you can see there's just not a lot of growth in this configuration. Um, went ahead and put uh, some blocks also in uh, this geodesic dome at three separate locations just to test how things work. So the goats did get in here. Uh, they ate the uh, insulation. That's why it kind of looks beat up. But as you go in, uh, you see the plastic, and then you see that center area. That's The center area is actually my mushroom bed. But I placed some, uh, a few grow blocks underneath the plastic just to see how well they would do in comparison with the other locations. Uh, they stayed fairly dry. And, you know, there, there wasn't a lot of new growth at these locations. I mean, you can see there, here's some antler reishi, but it's, it's not as much growth as I would have liked. Um, so contrasting that to other locations that are in the open, I think they did better than these locations underneath the plastic. Um, so over across from this grow bed, uh, that's where the, the um, you know, more of a mushroom location is in that pit. Um, adjacent to that pit, I placed a, a log and um, for, for turkey tail, but this block here at the bottom, just to see how well that did. That seemed to do really well down there, um, uh, better than other locations. But um, then at the bottom of the pit, I put uh, you know several blocks just to test that out as well. And what I noticed is the gray mold kind of got into it. You have a constant, you know, 50, 55 degrees down there, really wet. Uh, Reishi just does not seem to like that location very much. So um, of all the locations, um, you know, whether it's in this pit or in the other two greenhouses we just looked at uh, or under the plastic, it seems like the Reishi likes a warm environment, not a lot of water, um, but it, it likes the light. So that's just my observation. Thanks.